Hey, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I got one down. That was the good news for my buddy on the second morning of the Idaho deer season. The bad news was that he was on our mountainside almost two miles from our ATVs, and the only way out was an old logging road choked with chest-high buckbrush. So we tied his deer's legs together, front and rear, and I cut down a small Christmas tree to make a drag pole. Pulling him behind us like a sled, sometimes in tandem and sometimes alone, we had Roger's buck back to camp before lunchtime. It's a big deer. Get some of this fat out of crap out of here. I wish the sun, well, I don't wish the sun anywhere, but... Well, you should have cleared up there down through the buck brush, dragging him with the guts and alls like that. <laughs> no. That's ridiculous. It's about killed me coming up this draw. <laughs> Sacrificing a Christmas tree to make a deer drag. <sighs> All right, I'll limb that up. So we're going to cut this, delimb this. We're going to tie up the deer's legs, front and back. Maybe tie his front to his antlers. And we're going to put rope around there. He's going to be on one end, I'm going to be on the other, and we're going to drag it down that road. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. There's a longer run down here that's oh, Christ. for a ways. It's down, down there. Oh, well. I if I can pull in by myself through this. Okay. I guess that'll work too. Sorry, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Ah,